Oh, hooray! Okay, do you have any plot characters or concepts that you've had to scrap for one reason or another? Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> for every episode you've seen, there are at least ten dead episodes lying buried under the episode that you watched. Um, that's the way the creative process works. You know, you, you come up with an idea, and then a better one, and then a better one, and then a slightly worse one. Gosh, I mean, pretty much any monster you can name, we've almost done an episode about it. The thing is, there was, ugh, there was a B story. And just so you guys who aren't familiar with TV writing, so most episodes of TV, you have an A story, which is the main plot, and then you have a B story, which is the second plot, like this sort of simpler one. We had a, a B story that I absolutely loved. Um, where uh, Mabel, uh, not Mabel, Wendy has basically been taken a task by her dad for always getting into trouble. You know, her dad's this big manly lumberjack, and he's like, you know, like you keep you keep getting into trouble, you keep breaking into places and hanging out with these hoodlums. Um, you're grounded, and she's ticked off. So while she's ticked off, she actually she shoplifts some stuff from the mystery shack. And Grunkle Stan has surveillance, and he catches Wendy shoplifting, and he calls her into his office, he's like, Wendy, we gotta talk. I saw you stealing chocolate bars and snow globes from the shack. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Pines. I know, I know I'm in trouble. You're going to fire me. He's like, no, no. You've got a gift. You're the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you and me, I've been waiting my whole life to discover someone who's as good a pickpocket as I am. Don't you realize we could go out there, we could knock down a bank or something. We could do this big time. And she's like, really? Then you're not ready. Yet. So, you know, we go into basically a training montage of Grunkle Stan training Wendy how to be like a small time crook, and they're, you know, knocking over like, you know, the hot dog on a stick at the mall and stuff. Um, and finally, she's getting good at it. And she's like, Stan, this stuff is small time, okay? We are going to steal the diamond from the Gravity Falls History Museum. Think about that. We can split the pieces, wear it around our necks, we look like ballers. And you're starting to scare me a little bit, Wendy. Even though I've never stolen a diamond, are you crazy? He's like, yeah, I'm crazy. You love me. He's like, I do. Let's steal a diamond. Um, so Wendy and Stan try to steal this diamond, um, and of course they get caught. Um, and Wendy, in particular, Stan screws up. He's too old. He throws out his back. Wendy, you gotta steal it for me. She is able to get through all the layers of security. She's able to knock out blow up to Durlin. She gets the diamond. She's got it. And then, you know, another security guy grabs her, says, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Corduroy, come with me. They throw her into the Gravity Falls jail. They say, we're going to call your dad. And she's like, no, my dad, he can't find out about this. And Grunkle Stan shows up. And he's like, hey, guys, um, cops, I actually want to tell you, this girl, she was working for me the whole time. This wasn't her idea. I'm the mastermind. It was my idea to steal the diamond. Take me away. She's like, she, she wishes she could be a master thief like me. They're like, okay, they let her go. They throw him in jail. But he's like, why did you do that for me? You're going to have to be here for like days. And he, he says basically that he realized like, you know, like, like, look, I'm old. Like, I, I, I already had a life. You know, like, you can still make a choice to not be an idiot like me. Like, okay, you got quick fingers. Use it to play an instrument or something. Stop stealing or else you're going to get trapped here. Get out of here. Um, and so basically it's like Wendy and Stan Bonnie, essentially. You know what I mean? And, and Wendy discovering she has a talent and that maybe even though her dad is annoying, telling her not to get in trouble, then, like, maybe she can use that same energy for something better. We love this B story, right? It's very sweet, right? Isn't it sweet? And find us two feels in this crowd. <laughs> Listening to that story. I mean, the problem with television right now, I can never do it because you guys all know the ending. Um.